So let's look at some pictures. After all, everyone loves pictures. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the UI Image Picker Controller. And it's an interesting controller. In this case, we're going to use it to pick out a picture from the gallery. But it can also be used to take pictures as well, and we'll take a look at that later on in the course. For this app, our storyboard is really simple. We have a button to choose an image, and an image view that will show the image that the user selects. In our view control header, we need to import the mobile core services header, and we're going to be handling two delegates, UI image picker controller delegate, which will handle the event for when the user picks a picture or cancels out, and the UI navigation controller delegate. And that's just simply for the show of the picker. Getting to our implementation, we have properties for the UI image view and for the UI button, and then we're handling the action for when the button is touched. In that action, we first check the image picker controller to determine if the source type is available. And in this case, we're looking for the source type saved photo album. We'll see when we use this for a camera that this answer is not always necessarily yes. If this is true and our source type is available, we create an image picker object and we set its delegate to ourselves. And then we set the source type indeed to the photo library. We also tell it we're looking for specific media types. And in this case, we're looking for type image. You'll note that this is an array that we can pass in, so we can actually look for multiple media types. And we don't want to allow editing. And then we present the view controller. And we put in a little animation for fun. And this is a standard way you would present a view controller anyway. For our delegate method, the first method, and the most important to us really, is the did finish picking media with info, and it will pass us an info dictionary. The first thing we want to check is the media type. So we get a string for media type, looking for the key for image picker controller media type. We'll dismiss the controller, and then we'll make sure our media type is equal to the KU type image. So we're looking for that constant of an image because we don't want a video or an audio at this point. If that's correct, then we'll get the UI image from info and the object for that particular dictionary key. Then we'll take that UI image object and we'll set it into our image viewer's image property. If the user is canceled, we just dismiss the view controller and don't update any images. So let's see this running in the simulator. So there's no image in the image view at this point. When I click choose an image, the library comes up with the saved photos. And then I can pick whatever photo I'm interested in. And there we have a fine looking moose. As a note, the simulator doesn't come pre-populated with images. And one of the questions that is often asked is how do I get images into it? There's a little trick. If you go to Desktop Safari and take an image and drag it over into the simulator, the simulator will go to the same page and give you that image. If you tap and hold the image, It'll allow you to save the image. And now it's in our image gallery. And there it is, that bottom one. So that's just a little trick to set up your simulator. Of course, in real world testing, you really want to test this out on a device with real images. So that's how to use the UI image picker controller just to use it for the gallery. As we'll see in the future, it can be used for a number of other things as well.